Similar style there, too. He's got the baggy sweatpants. He's a tall righty. Covers a lot of the net. This is a big spot for him. This is a big spot for these two as well. Joe Nardella has been one of the top face-off men in the world for years. For years, right? What are the archers going to do in terms of, of battling that? Because even even if even if Anasio goes, he's only been at 46% for the year, the rookie out of Ohio State. Maybe they'll counter with a Graham Hasek, a pole, and try and junk up, which is how they're starting this game, Cart. Yeah, Joe Nardell is too good, though. And he gets the face off, and now he'll shoot, and he bounces it over the top. You look at the four-year run Joe Nardell has been on. And Trevor Baptiste gets a lot of credit as the best face-off man. Up to four, and then when they selected more, Manny thought, who the heck is going to cover our guys with the short sticks because we're going to be a matchup nightmare, and they have been, guys. Boy, Nortella, you said it right off the top, Clark. I mean, he had one shot on the first face-off of the game that went awry. That was, He wasn't going to miss that time. Right smack dab in front of Dobson, and he evens the score at one apiece. In 2020, in the bubble in Salt Lake, Zed Williams was the MVP of the league. Right behind him was that guy right there. Joe Nardella was incredible. And when he wins the draw, he is a lethal scorer. Back to his days at Rutgers. You have to respect him. And once he gets around that two-point arc, you got to go up and play him if you're the Archers. Like, Joe Nardella is not your average face-off guy when it comes to creating offense. So Anasio at the stripe. And Nardella just wins it cleanly to himself. Connors, because Jared Connors can recover quickly, but not when you have that aggressive plant foot like Brad Smith has at that moment. Wait, how are you going to counter Nardella? You're going to have to get great wing play. McNeil was all over at that time, just couldn't quite scoop up the ground ball, so whips once again with possession. Just kind of let Kyle see the shots he wants. What's the best part of being on the wing when Joe Nardella faces off? I mean, he scraps, man. He's he's all over the field. He never gives up on a play, so it's it's great being on the same wing as him. Thanks, Mike. And those throwbacks, they kind of look like... Uh... Like Jim Kick, the old Miami Dolphins, maybe yeah. in this in the 70s. A little bit similar to that. Another one where Nardella just wins it to himself. Oh, he's so good. 67% heading into the weekend. Three in Marcus Holman that time. And this is what I love about the Archers, too. Holman's known as a shooter. Can pass the rock, too. Got the assist on that goal. And despite the absolute dominance by Nardella at the faceoff stripe. We're all even at three here, and that turnover gives the ball back to Archers. Archers, who we saw in the last game with the unbelievable quick feet. Rambo is 210 pounds. He's a big dude, and yet still has that quickness. And he can shoot through pressure, too. That was a clean shot where he separated from the defense. But he'll shoot through you, too. He leads the league in shots. He's going to get his looks. The way he finished on that two cork, if you're worried about your hamstring, he ain't finishing like that. No. He looks like he's close to 100% and, more importantly, confident in that hamstring. Yeah, and the placement, too, because Burnlor is starting to cheat to the opposite pipe, and he beat him near pipe there on that shot. He's been the guy, if you look at a four-year time period, in terms of the Whips winning the first two championships. Right. League MVP in 2019. Zed followed suit in 2020. This time it's a scrum. Wasn't a quick win for Nardella, but he wins none the same. Tyler Warner brings into the all gate. Marcus Holman. Now we're set to go. Second quarter after about an hour and 45 minute weather delay is underway. Nardella own the face-off stripe in that first quarter and that domination continues here in the second. Connors. That time wing play. Getting possession for Archers and quick offense out of bounds. Chased down by Will Manning. Alright, you want to challenge me? Here we go. Yeah. Like that's him saying, you want to challenge me? Let's go. I've got so much respect for Rambo. Like he's Adam Gettleman Chris Bates makes the change. It's a big spot for the rookie. Warner scoops up the ground ball in the middle of the field. Another possession for Whipsnake. Elite passer from the midfield, but there's no behind presence for the chaos like this. 
they have that combination that no one else has. Big time passers up top and behind. Connor scoops up the ground ball, timeout, Archers. The ones from the outside have been Brad Smith hammering it to opposite corners. Chris Bates is right. They're not supporting Dobson. Right, another one that comes to mind is when Zed just went right to the front of the goal and basically shot about a two-foot shot into the net. Yeah, but oftentimes rookie goalies don't be Brett Dobson. Perfect execution for whip snakes, now 9-5. See how quick he was, save to flush out right. to Earhart. And Earhart just runs the field. It's like a gazelle. You don't see too many stalemates at the face-off stripe anymore. McNeil picks up this ground ball, though. Gets it to Amen. Nice look for Schreiber coming out of the box. Him in the locker room. He's a character, man. He's a competitor. You heard him talking to the refs about his golf game. The funniest thing is I follow him on Instagram. Every time he beats a friend, his brother Rich or Blaze Reardon, he makes him bend, bend the knee. It's classic. <laughs> He's beating everyone on the course. They're all bending the knee. I'm getting from Bernhardt, the short stick defensive midfielder. And once he does that, it's a sweet shot. And Bernlor has no shot. Another Piper. That's Changed the number on that penalty. So Latrell Harris, guilty of the infraction. Rambo's got 10 shots. He leads the league in shots. He's getting to the rack. Like, if you're the archer, send a double early. Just force him to be a passer. Although he's a good passer, he's not at the level passing as he... Ossio just battling, trying to do all he can, and it isn't much. Warner pulls the ground ball from the turf. Rambo again on the attack, head up, looking for a cutter. Now he's going to come in to buy whip snakes. Curtis, mostly of Nardella, winning and owning the stripe, as he does right there to start this quarter. Guy's a machine. Yet another former turf, this time on the... Violation by Katie. Katie's only been out in the sun for about she's the MVP. Twelve hours today. Hedge a little bit. Go ahead. You'll get four incredible games again. Yeah, that's the way they've been lately. Had it in Dallas. We've had it this week as well. It's been a season to remember. I mean, this is it's just nuts how competitive and close all these games are three. Here's the key. I mean, Anasio's got to give him something. Oh, and he, you know what? They'll get a break here, and they'll get another break. Yes, they that's a break. delay game by Nardella. They got a loose ball push against Nardella, or against the Whipstinks, I should say, and then Nardella out of frustration. Yeah, you got to drop the ball right in front yes. of us. That's not a, a smart move by Nardella, who's been outstanding. 76% on the day. So now a couple of things here. This one in. But lure the defense cross crease to find Will Manny. Huge face off. Still loose. Everyone's calling for a timeout, but no one has possession yet. Now they do. Whipstakes get it. No timeout here. Maybe pushing it. Rambo far side. Switches back to his right. Now to his left. Top 